Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, I am calling you to walk by faith and not by sight today, for it is vital and important that you put your faith into practice each and every day, my child. For when you place your full trust and faith in me, you will encounter not only my peace and perfect love, but you will be able to express that love to those around you, my child. For life is hard enough for many around you to get through their day, and my grace is upon your life that will bring hope even to the hopeless. Remember, when you bear the fruit of my spirit, you become a smorgasbord of fruit for people to taste and see that I am good, my child. For many are searching, but many have not found my love, my peace, my joy, and my compassion. So ask of me today for your needs so that I can satisfy and comfort you with what you need. For when you are comforted, you shall be able to comfort others with the comfort that only proceeds from my Father. So even though you have passed through difficulties, I am here to lead you through each and every one, my child. Therefore, it is important that you do not blame your tests or temptations on me, for they come from your own desires, my child. Remember, your Father in heaven only gives you good gifts, for he is constantly good and gracious to you always. Therefore, if you want to have spiritual wisdom to handle these difficult times of trials, testings, and hardship, then call upon me today. If you want to avoid being ensnared in temptations that lead you to sin and death, then pray without doubting for me to give you the wisdom, my child, to make an exit. For I, yes, I have promise to make a way of escape for you, my child. Yes, I will make a way where there seems no way. I know your life at times seems like a road with many bumps and roadblocks that seem to stop you in your tracks at times from moving in the direction that I want you to move. But I will make a road for you, my child, even through the wilderness and rivers in the desert for you. Just move forward today in faith, trusting in me always. So whatever seems impossible for you today, I can make possible. For I can turn around any situation for your life, my child. Even when you say that you cannot manage, that you cannot go on, I will manage for you. I will give you the grace to go on and also supply for all of your needs. So, do not be over-concerned about my end of the bargain, as I can be trusted and will finish what I have promised concerning your life. Therefore, continue to trust in me and surrender all your burdens today. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Matthew 4, verses 1 onwards, it says, then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward he was hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down for it is written, he shall give his angels charge over you and in their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone. But Jesus replied and said to him, It is written again, 
You shall not tempt the Lord your God. And again, the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, away with you, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and in him only we shall serve. Then the devil left him and behold, angels came and ministered to him. Somebody say hallelujah. Precious saints, maybe you feel like that God is leading you the wrong way today. Does your life feel like it is a wasteland? Take heart today and know that your Savior, Jesus Christ, He went through the desert to be tempted for you. Yes, He was tempted by the devil for you. And He promises you a fully redeemed life with Him. God has a plan for your life and wants to use you for His glory despite of what is happening around you. God is still in control, precious saints. You just got to learn to surrender your uncertainty to Him today. Jesus responded to the devil. Devil, it is written. No matter whatever temptation you are going through, Jesus gave us the example. We need to respond back to the devil. It is written. Whatever that temptation is today, Jesus was tempted in the desert so that you could be set free, so that you could have freedom in him. He made a way for us and he is going to make a way for you today. His grace is sufficient. So turn to him today and trust in him again. Let us pray now, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you today. Yes, we come boldly to your mercy seat through the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus, you are the way and you are the life. You are the way maker. And we will follow you as you go before us and you prepare the way for what is ahead of you. It is your plan. Yes, you've gone before us. We know that you will see to every detail of that plan so that what needs to be done will already be done before we even arrive. The path will be revealed, the direction will be confirmed, and a way will be established for us. We trust in you to unlock the doors that need to be open. You will loosen the things that need to be untied, and you will remove the hindrances that need to be taken away from our lives today in in the name of Jesus Christ, every roadblock is being moved out of the way. We ask you to provide for all that is needed as we walk along your appointed path today. We rebuke the devil today for all of his temptations and we command the devil today as we say, it is written devil that we shall not live on bread alone, but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Open our eyes to see the way that you are leading us today. Give us the understanding to take the right steps. Strengthen us with the patience to move at the right pace and work within our our words and our actions to say and to do the things in the right way. Holy Spirit, we ask you, Holy Spirit, come and minister to your people today. Come and lead us. Come and guide us. Come and uh, teach us. Come and deliver us today. Heal your people today. Oh, Lord, they need more of you today. Oh, Lord, they need more of your confirmation, more of your peace, more of your love. We trust in you to do what no one else can do in ways that no one else can work, doing the wonders that no one else can perform. Lord, we thank you 
that it will be your will and you will make a way for each person today. Come and touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Come and fill your people. Come and renew them and touch them today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, then I encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can follow us on uh, Rumble. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Precious saints, let us press into the Lord. God has a way for us and He will make us to Faithfully follow Him in all that He has called us to do. God has already done it. God will do it. He will establish it. Just trust Him today. Even in these uncertain times, put your trust in God alone. Hallelujah. Man will let you down, but God will never let you down. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom. (laughs) 